what is popping you guys it is me bro. it is she it is vera it is scorpion reds tarot i am back in the building did you miss me baby did you miss me all right we are in here today to find out where is this connection going we're going to do all signs. We're going to find out where is this connection going. I'm going to give a shout out to all of my OG. Shout out to all my newbies. Thank you to everybody who has come through and like, share, and subscribed to this video. Thank you so much for all of the love. If you want to book a personal or private reading, go ahead and check out the information in that description box. Um, email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com or hop on over to my Instagram and inbox me over there in Instagram Messenger and I'm going to get you in where you fit in, okay? And we're going to do what it do, baby. So listen, let's just uh, bow our heads real quick. Let's give Father God thanks before we go into this reading and we find out where y'all's connections are headed, where y'all connections are going in the future. So let's just give Father God praise. Father God, thank you so much for coming in and touching down with the collectors. Thank you so much for collecting and guiding us and, and gathering us and guiding us and providing for us and giving us the nourishment and the balance that we need in our day-to-day. -day. Father God, we are praying for a healthy and wholehearted balanced connection, Father God, for everybody that is watching this video that has met someone new or already has a connection that is thriving and that is going well. We want to just see where these connections are headed. Father God, give each sign the guidance that they need to receive. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Let's get into this, all right? So I got a whole bunch of different decks. I'm going to just pull from whichever side I want to that I feel guided to. Um, I got some cards over here. It's like a big old stack. So I'm probably going to give each deck uh, a few of those little goodies over there. So let's tap into Aries. Let's get into Aries. Let's find out where this connection is headed for the Aries. Let's get one card. Where is this connection headed? For Aries. One card, please. Where is this connection headed? Where is this connection headed for Aries? Where is this connection headed for Aries? One card. We have reflections. What you contemplate can actualize. All right, so what this is telling Aries off the break is like positive thoughts, positive thoughts, like what you think can actualize. So if you think of great intentions, great outcomes, visualizing great things happening in the future, these things are going to start to materialize in your life. So just keep positive thoughts and, you know, whatever you envision, you can receive. So, you know, positive thoughts, Aries, positive thoughts. All right, so let's see. Let me see. When we split this deck, we got the Six of Cups. So, like, there's a lot of shared feelings right now. Like, you guys are expressing your love and generosity to each other. Y'all kind of have, like, that giddy childlike feeling. Like, when you guys call each other and you see that name pop up on your phone, it just gives you butterflies. Like, especially when you see that person pull up. You know what I'm saying? It's the pull up for me. <laughs> Baby, baby be looking good. You know they looking good, smelling good. And it's like the closer and closer they get to your doorstep, you just know you can't wait for that embrace, that hug, baby. Like you guys are just like really, really enjoying yourself. And then the, uh, on the other side of the deck, you got the Prince of Cups. So this person is like pouring on to you. You're definitely getting those good morning texts. You're definitely getting those dates. This person may be like planning out y'all's weekend like maybe starting to talk to you on a Tuesday about look I'm about to tie up your weekend we're going to do this and this and this isn't like seriously like there's no question about this person's love and affection for you and um I feel like it's going to be more to come more to come so let's see whatever guidance do we have here for Aries in regards to where this connection is going right now I'm just seeing like you guys are a reflection of each other you guys are pouring like a lot of positive thoughts a lot of positive energies you guys are really excited about this connection and it um it's making you realize that you could love again like it, and and you feel youthful <laughs> you know what i'm saying you guys feel like kids falling in love like for the first time like this is such good energy so let's see what else we got here where is this connection going for Aries? What is this right here? Okay, you got the Nine of Cups. Okay, give me one more. 
you got the nine of cups and what is this you got the seven of what is this the seven of wands you keep you keeping people to fuck away <laughs> You will keep with people away. And then you got the, um, I believe this is the strength card right here. So it's, I feel like you guys are happy. You guys are balanced. You were protecting this happiness that you were being blessed with right now. You know? So um, I see this connection lasting a very long time. Because I feel like y'all are going to keep people out of your business. Y'all are going to keep people out of your business. Do you see this nine of cups? You want to enjoy and relax and bask in this happiness. Do you understand? You really feel a level of happiness that I want to say that you've never felt before. And it's like the more that you keep people out of your business. Like you just feed people what they need to know just know that i'm happy just know that i'm secure just know that i like i'm balanced you know what i'm saying so like i feel like a very nurturing and protective like energy around this relationship i i, I feel like you guys have learned to keep your personal business and your happiness and especially information about your relationship to yourself um I just heard the best kept secret, <laughs> like the best kept secret. And it's not that your relationship is secret. It's just not nobody's business. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm not, I don't want to talk about it yet. It's like, I just want to be able to sit back and enjoy. I don't even like, I, I don't know if uh, you guys might know each other from childhood or something like that. It's like this, this connection reminds you of something and it's the way that this person is constantly giving you confirmations that this shit is real. I'm not going nowhere. It's like you love this. So Aries, I don't know if you connected with a water sign, but it's just like, it's like, I, I don't know where this connection is going, but I just know it's flowing and I like the way that it's feeling and I appreciate the generosity, the love, and abundance that is just covering me right now. So, shout out to all my Aries. I really, really love that. So, let's just get, um, what is this right here? Oh, this card just fell out. It says, you're ready to take this relationship to the next level. Okay. All right, Aries. Let's see. When I opened up the yellow decks, it says, you make my wildest dreams come true. Come on, Aries. All right now, Aries. Okay, Aries. We are reloaded. All right. Now, let's see the other ones. When I split the pink deck, it says, play the lottery. Feeling lucky. All right. Someone feel like they hit the jackpot and play the lottery, you guys. All right. And then, so let's see. The turquoise deck. It says, love is a powerful drug. All right, Aries, so listen. <laughs> you got a lot of good cards, Aries. I am really liking this. Aries, the way that this is starting off, I hope that all of the signs is getting this Aries energy because this is amazing. Look, play the lottery. Feeling lucky. You make this person's wildest dreams come true. You are a star. You are ready to take this relationship to the next level, and so are they. You could clearly see by that card, by those cards. And love is a powerful drug. All right, so she, let's do it, Aries. Let's fucking do it. Let's do it. Let's get, get, get it. All right, shawty, low, and you know that. <laughs> Where the dough is. Hey. Alright, so let's get it to this. Let's get it to this. Come on, Taurus. They will not ignore us. Taurus, let's see what the T is. Where is y'all's connections going? So let's get it to these cards over here. Let's find out what's going on in the relationship with Taurus. Tell us where Taurus's connection is going. Give us some information about Taurus. Where is the relationship with Taurus going? Where is Taurus's connection going? Okay, what is this? 
You got the hope card. Ooh, this person been staying up late. <laughs> just thinking, just praying and hope, faith. Give me guidance. Where's this connection with Taurus going? What we got? We got the priest. And you know the Taurus is the Hierophant. We got sweetheart, loving those messages. And then we got a letter. Okay, Taurus. Now, ooh, child, you got the child under the deck, bitch. Hold up, bitch. And then you got love right under the child. <laughs> and then you go a haughtiness, haughtiness. <laughs> okay, who you talking to, Taurus? Taurus said, uh uh, you would not ignore us. Okay, and she a hot little tamale with a whole lot of body. Mm -hmm. Might pop a baby in that motherfucker. Be fucking that drone crazy. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, what is going on, Taurus? Taurus is like. Ooh, I heard nutrition is guaranteed. Hold up. Taurus is like, I feel like, listen, let me just tell y'all off the bat. Y'all know Taurus like the, I just heard fertile like Myrtle. You see this child card right there. Taurus wants to like put that thickness on you you know what i'm saying like you know how you just start messing with someone and it's like they might be skinny when you first meet them but you that's that's that putting on that love way that's that beating it up good putting a little curvature on them hips and just doing oh, oh, oh. like oh my goodness like i like whoever this is messing with this tourist i really want you to know that yes that they really do love you that they are in love with you especially like if they communicate with you all the time if they're always communicating with you, if they initiate communication with you, if they always just make sure no matter what they're doing, they keep in touch with you on a consistent basis. Like this person looks back at your messages. They may look at your page like they really, really love you. They can see having a child with you and be careful because I could definitely see. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> watch out okay because this person stays up late hoping and praying and thinking about this connection like with that priest being there i feel like you guys have the same values like similar values similar values and tourists regardless of what they're doing where they're at in their life in their inner core they really are very traditional people very traditional people so maybe that they're hoping that in the future that this connection really turns into something that you know can land into something like marriage children you know this person really i do feel the love here so let's go over here when i split the deck i got the eight of pentacles so and again, I just heard like a traditional relationship. This person, whatever you do for your job, this person really admires your work, your work ethic. They are willing to put the work in to this connection. And they feel like you're a very beautiful person. You're very smart. Um, it's a lot of good things going for you. And they would not mind being on your arm, being next to you. Like, if anything, it would help push them up it would help them look better it would help remind them of listen of my aspirations of where I want to be in my life so it's like you uplift this person like you are very high valued um amazing individual they love your mind you know Taurus are very earthy people so they like to learn from you like it's a just they can sit up and just talk to you and learn a lot from you and that dad is so attractive for them just sitting up watching you on your computer if you work from home doing anything like they think that shit is so sexy with your hair and the top knot with your glasses on doing your computer work like that shit is fucking sexy to them that shit is a fucking turn on and especially if you have your own business if you are into crafting and if you have any type of personal pursuits in talents like the Taurus is very and then you got the queen of wands so they definitely feel like you are magical you are beautiful and it's like with this going right here most definitely 
if you're a very creative person, like you're multifaceted, you got a whole bunch of different talents and stuff like that. And when you put on, bitch, you put on, a lot of people are attracted to you. Like they are very sexually aroused by you. Like even in, when you just be in the house on your chill shit, like they're to be hard as a motherfucker. Like they be trying to put it on you, bitch. Okay. What is this? You got the world in the reverse here. So I feel like there's a lot of things that they are prepared to. They are prepared to change. Because it's like you might have flipped this person's world upside down. Because you know a Taurus is a fixed sign. So it's like they might have felt like their life was settled. They knew where they were going. They knew uh, the, the, the beginning in all of what they created and, and, and you just came and just rocked this person's world. So it's just like, they're realizing that they're just at the beginning of the good shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am just now learning what life has to offer me. And it's like, you might've came in and turned this person's life upside down you know and it's like they are relearning a lot of things about their self and it's triggering them to like have a different connection with God and with you know with faith and everything they're praying for something different I feel like they thought that they knew who they were and what they wanted and where their life was going and it's like I don't know shit now cause like this person just came into my life and it's like this this motherfucker is everything this person's introducing me to arts, foods crafts, like travel, how to make money like I just love what me and this person is creating and I thought I set my life in a parody like God got something totally different in store for me and I love it so in regards to you know where this connection is headed is going in a good place because whoever this is that came in the Taurus is like you don't turn this person's life upside down and they're in a place of happiness and new beginnings with you and I really feel like they're very happy that they met you so let's get a card from Taurus how does Taurus feel it I got it's giving ooh, ooh, ooh. It's giving BFF vibes. Right now, you guys are like best friends. You guys talk all of the time. It's not like just a sexual connection. It's something more than that. Like regardless of what, like I see this person. Because, you know, like Tauruses, when they find something good, they like to hold on to it. They're not just going to easily just let someone go. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. It says... I can't believe you responded. So, like, maybe when y'all connected to each other, like, it was online or something, and they were surprised that you guys even ended up having a conversation <laughs> with each other. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Oh, and then I just got confession. Special day. The day we met changed my life. So, yes, like, they can't believe that you responded in confession the day that they met you. You changed this person's life. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's get a pink card. All right. So it says, and then y'all just got played a lottery. Feeling lucky. Now, hold on. Let's get one more card. It says, is you rolling? <laughs> Bitch, I might be. <laughs> Listen, I don't know if y'all are into party drugs and things like that, but I really feel like y'all can get away with a lot of bullshit and cutting up with each other now. If y'all are not into, like, the party lifestyle and all of that stuff like that, y'all don't do a little, you know, if y'all don't do that, I feel like this person want to know, like, if whatever they're with, are you down? Like, is you rolling? Like, is you rolling with me? Is you really down to ride with me? You know what I'm saying? So let's find out. All right, so let's see. We got, smile. Remember how far you have come. All right, so let me give one more, because listen. And then this one says, see, mm -mm, see, that's what I get. And this one says, 
Okay, I'm cool on this argument. Alright, so... And then I'm getting... I put that over there where it's giving BFF vibes. So, I feel on a certain aspect uh, that right now... And y'all know these are, this is a Taurus that we're talking about here. So, I feel like this Taurus is like not trying to move too fast and that's why they're saying like wherever things are going right now like is you rolling with me like however things is like flowing are you just down to ride like no pressure no stress let's just let this you know what i'm saying like um I'm surprised that you even responded like right now it's giving BFF vibes like let's let's just get to that you know what I'm saying hold on shout out to back on feed because I'm watching that shit all the time I love smack let's get to that okay shout out to the west side all right so let's go to the next side let's get to my 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 Gemini let's get on over here to these energy cards let's find out where this connection is going for my Gemini's. All right, when I split the deck, I got the sun. So I've got a lot of happiness. A lot of happiness. I heard gaiety. Ooh. <laughs> gaiety. <laughs> gaiety, bitch. Okay, let me see. And then you got the number one right there. Okay, you the one. Daniel son, you are the one. Okay, mm-hmm. A lot of happiness and gaiety, bitch. Not gaiety. <laughs> and then you got the world. Mm-hmm. All right now. All right now, Gemini. My, 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 Gemini. So, listen. <laughs> and that will me singing a whole new world in my head. A brand new place I never knew. <laughs> Look, Gemini, I feel like you are happy. You are changing positions. And again, I don't know why I keep getting like this LGBTQIA plus type of energy. And again, only take what resonates. But I really do feel like you guys are changing positions. You are coming out of a place of, I, I want to say like a stalemate. You're coming out of a stalemate. Um... I want to say you're changing position. So there, there let me mm, let me find out what the hell's going on. <laughs> What's going on? Because I need some transparent guidance right there. Because I need to find out. Because I feel like Jim and I are very happy right now. Um. Oh, I just heard I'm outside. I heard I'm outside. It's like they're stepping into a new world, a new phase in their life. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's popping off like that. Okay, we got the Ten of Swords. Damn, and then we got the damn Three of Swords. And then what is this? The Six of Pentacles. So, God damn. I might need to do two. Okay, yeah. Okay, let me get one more for the... Okay, I'm understanding how I need to do this now. Give me one more for the Six of Pentacles. It's like, I'm happy now. It's like, because I was getting like they were moving out of like some place of darkness, like a dark phase with somebody. So, I just heard, I'm sorry to interrupt this, but I got to go. So, in regards to where a connection is going with a Gemini, I'm sorry to interrupt this, but I got to go. A whole new world. <laughs> like, bitch, listen, I've been through enough with you okay this is the ten of swords and the three of swords it's like bitch i'd have ended up like i'd have hurt myself if i'd have stayed in this relationship with you any fucking longer like i'm so done i'm so over that it's like it's it's nothing more for there to learn or go through it's like i get safe passage to completely remove myself from a place where I was unhappy and I was in a complete mental state of withdrawal. Like, I wasn't happy. And it was too much going on over here. And it's like, I feel like the Gemini don't even want me to go too deep into, just know it was the Three of Swords, it was a whole bunch of shit. And 
I'm not going to lie to kick it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie to kick it. <laughs> like, chill out. Like, chill the fuck out. I'm, I'm just, let's find somebody else to do it. Find somebody the fuck else to do it. This is a lot. Gemini, can you just give me, okay, let me just take, okay. Tell me when to stop. Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. Okay, y'all found something that is like, I feel like it's more traditional and that works well. You got the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. I don't know, Gemini, if you done found like an earth sign, someone that, um, I feel like you can create something that is more hearty with. That, you know, it's like a cup of happiness that is ever flowing. You can really show off. You go out. And why do I feel like... I don't know why in this situation with this world, whatever phase, whatever old situation that you're leaving, because we're asking about where is this connection going? It's done. It's done. It's done for the third time. I don't know if the third time is a charm, but bitch beat it. Okay? Bitch, bye. Okay? Listen. Gemini just wants you to see mentally. For whoever this is that didn't understand like what it was that the Gemini was being put through. I don't know if the Gemini was putting you through this or if, if you were doing this to them. But it was like overkill. It's like we just going to sit here and keep hurting each other or what? Like what are we going to do? Like you done did your shit. I done did my shit. Like. We then nailed it up against the wall that we hate each other, that we're not good each other, we're never going to do right by each other, like London Bridge has fell down. If I was to stay here any longer, like, bitch, I'd have just took myself out myself. And listen, I, I don't, God forgive me for saying that, but like, you know, like, honestly, it was just like, <laughs> I'm hurting myself. Because sometimes it's like when you stay in situations that you know is beneath you, that you know is not good for you. For too long, it is overkill spiritually and mentally for you. You put yourself through that shit. And I, I am hurting myself the longer that I decide to stay in this darkness and don't move the fuck on. Listen, I'm good. <laughs> this, is, this is over. This is good. Like I said, the ten, the ten of swords, it's done. You can't hurt me no more. It is nothing more that you can do that you can say, I am numb. I cease to exist in this situation anymore. It is dead to me and to you as well. Like, cause like it's nothing more for you to come back to. The Gemini is in a space of renewal of happiness, of being born again. So you could really feel like after coming out of this stage of darkness, moving into this new cha this new chapter, this new phase of your life. Like you went from so much darkness and so much pain and so much hurt to like, oh my God. You know what I'm seeing, you guys? And not to like go on too long on Gemini, but I gotta give Gemini their flowers. You know, remember who framed Roger Rabbit? Remember when he was going from the real world into Toontown. And like the real world, it was just like all this crazy drama going on. But it was like once they got into Toontown, they were singing, the birds and everything. It was just like so much happiness. It was like in that Toon world, people were happy. Like it's like you, you literally are in a whole new world. I feel like your creativity is flowing. People are giving to you. It's like you're in a place of receiving, receiving, receiving. And you're going to continue to be receptive. You're focused on your work. I don't see there's anything else that you plan on doing right now but receiving, 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 and fucking abundantly receiving. Right now, Gemini. Focus on yourself, focus on your money, and focus who gives to you without you having to ask. 
And if multiple people want to assist you, you allow them to do that at this moment. That's the only thing that Gemini gives a fuck about right now is focusing on myself, my craft, my work, rebuilding myself and receiving. But he, but he, that's that's all folks. And it's I ain't mean to just like go off and go up on Gemini like that, but listen, I got to give Gemini a day flowers because like Gemini said, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, your mama, your daddy, your auntie. Your great grandmama who created them, the ship that y'all rode on, and the bitch that you flew out before that. Like, I ain't got nothing. Listen, listen to me, Tonita. Uh, give me guidance. How, what, what does Gemini got to say? My, 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 Gemini. What you got to say, baby? It says, hope you feel the same way too, boo-boo. Look, hope you feel the same way. I hope you feel the, I hope you feel the same way too. <laughs> Y'all let me know what's cracking up. Look. Ooh. Jim and I said they want some rough and nasty sex. Ooh, my, my look, Jim. Look, y'all already know. <laughs> Y'all already know. Ooh, it said, let me suck them cherries. Gemini, listen, you just trying to have some fun. Gemini is like, listen, I'm trying to listen. Then it says, you win. Come on, Gemini. Gemini. My, 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 Gemini. Gemini said, I'm in the winning circle, baby. You don't even understand what is going on in my life right now. Listen, bitch, can't touch this. Dun, 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 dun. Boop, boop. Dun, dun, dun. Can't touch this. Dun, dun, dun. Boop, boop. Boop. Mm -mm -mm. My, 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 my. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bitch. Listen. It says, will this lead to commitment? Yes. So, Gemini, your next relationship will most definitely lead to commitment. Your next relationship will lead to commitment. What else we got going on for the Geminis? What other messages we got for my Geminis? It says, teach me how to love. Show me the way to surrender my heart. Girl, I'm so lost. Teach me how to love. How I can get my emotions involved. Teach me. Ah, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Gemini. Listen. Gemini is just like, I'm just focused on me, myself, and I. That's all I got in the end. That's what I found now. Listen, and then somebody gonna come around. They gonna teach Gemini how to love. And Gemini said, my love language is money. Boom. How you doing? Boom. How you doing? Listen, you want to know how to get to Gemini's heart? Money, bitch. Now, am I lying? Listen, y'all better put it up in the chat. Am I lying? Is this the truth, the whole truth, or nothing but the truth? So help me God, bars. Okay, don't play with Gemini. Listen, the next, the next one, the next one, the next one, baby. You might as well put a stamp on it, girl. Listen, you win. Listen, don't let me tell you about a bit. What happened when a motherfucker boss up, okay? Bossarella. Bossarella, listen, they gonna suck on the cherries and freak you down like you nasty Mary. Come on, girl. Let them try. Let them try. Let them try. Let them try. No, no, no. Oh, my goodness. Gemini, listen, you just go ahead and have fun. And <laughs> enjoy the motherfucking ride up into this new one come. Because, baby, you would listen. Shout out to all my boss bitches and all my boss niggas walking away from shit that and people that they feel like don't deserve them. Because you see what's coming up the pike. <laughs> okay, bitch, I am reloading. I am titty shake for that. Okay, now let's get up to Miss Cancer. Cancer, what's the answer? What's the answer for my cancers? I feel like, I don't know. I, well, I, I got to go over here to this because uh, that's water signs. You know, I think we need to get like deep emotional energy. We got to get emotional. Why don't we want to get emotional? What is going on with cancer? Let's see what this is. Sisterhood. Friendship, allies, compatible soul, loyalty, joy, and delight. Okay, Trist uh, sisterhood of the tribal of motherfucking pants. Is that what's going on? Sisterhood of the traveling motherfucking pants. What is going on with the sisterhood? You, uh, huh, 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 huh. Okay. 
What is, what is going on, Cancer? What's under this one? A drift. Letting go. Allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. Oh, so you just letting it do what it do. Is that what's going on? Cancer, you just like, mm. Mm. I'm just going wherever the, the 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 river takes me. I'm just I'm just enjoying myself. I'm with this. I'm with my billy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Cause like y'all music just be popping up in my head, and I ain't about to fit nobody. So I'm not even cool saying that. <gasps> but is you with the traveler pants of the of the of the? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I feel like um, where this connection is going, whoever this is that is messing with a cancer female, I feel like she more connected with her friends than she is connected with you. Listen, she is <laughs> she is adrift right now. She is floating. She is just going with the flow. Like she is. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Hey, hold on, I don't know what y'all been told. Uh, 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 what's happening? In? Okay, let's see. What we got we got the nine of swords when I spit it dead. So I feel like the cancer. I want to say like they feel caught up. For some reason, they are like. I done took all them damn cover. Hold on, what's going on up under the, oh. And then you got the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So this cancer feels like they are confused as to how they ended up getting like fixated in this entrapment. They feel God, why ooh, hold on now that I'm looking at this. Is this like a sister wives club? What the fuck is going on? What is going on? Cause what I'm getting is like a sister wives. Are, it's, 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 it's cancer in a sister wifehood. It's like it's like one man, but he got like all these bitches, and he like want them to get along with each other. And cause I. Because now that the song that I was thinking about earlier is starting to make fucking sense. I don't think that the, the, the cancer. And I know this may sense. Uh oh, let me let me get let me get some more tea with this bitch because hold the fuck up. Because all right, what I want to say is like I slightly feel like the cancer feels like they're stuck and they're in this entrapment with these other bitches. And they don't know how they got in this situation. And they don't know how to see their way out. Somehow I feel like. It's this. What do they call motherfuckers that get kidnapped by somebody. And end up falling in love with their kidnapper and shit. But it's not like they end up falling in love with their kidnapper. It's like they end up becoming friends with these bitches. Because it's like. I understand how this bitch feel because I'm stuck like her too. You know what I'm saying? So like instead of me being mad at her like, oh, bitch, you messing with my nigga. Like she feel the way that I feel because it's another bitch too. So it's like now y'all two done gained a relationship or bond through y'all dealing with this bullshit with some nigga. It's, and it's like y'all are just like emotionally bound to what the fuck is going bitch mm -mm. Cancer, what the fuck you got going on bitch and you can't get out of it like why you feel like you trapped into this situation with these motherfucking bitches like what the fuck is going on you creating friendships and allies with these hoes and shit like that look y'all compatible souls cause y'all done been through the same shit or uh, or it's ever is ever that or no, no, hold on, bitch. Where where is this connection going? What the fuck is going on? Are you really telling me this, God? Like what is going on? What is going on with cancer? Where is this connection going? Cause it look like it ain't going. You ain't going no motherfucker way. You know none of these bitches. Y'all y'all gonna sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up and smell it with the rock is cooking. That's, that seemed like what the fuck going on. <laughs> like, 
Bitch, you better drink your you better drink your fucking yak with your cola back and shut the fuck up. That's what the fuck is seem like going on around here. Look, you consulting to the god. <laughs> you like, God, how the fuck did I get what the fuck? Bitch, how the fuck? Okay. Listen, look, misfortune. Like, <laughs> ah, wait, wait. Uh-uh. And then you got the thief. I'm trying to tell y'all. Cancer. This situation is not going anywhere good. And I feel like you're consulting God for a fucking reason, not a season. Because it's like you realize that you're in this unfortunate situation. You feel like you're trapped in this commitment or this situation with these bitches somehow. I don't know. I know what I want to say this is, is, but bitch, this is motherfucker PG-13. I ain't even about to go there. We ain't even, but we ain't even, we, look, y'all book a reading. If this is, look, and don't be putting your business in the comments. Just put a thumbs up like, bitch, listen, I'm going to hit you in the inbox. Hit me on motherfucking Instagram, okay? Tell me what the fuck is going on, cancer. Well, whoever just, whoever just clicked this video, if this is resonating with you, bitch, because it's like we're trying to fucking avoid a dire misfortune because I feel like this person is going to steal a lot of time and a lot of happiness for you and from you. And I don't want you to like permanently be scarred in the future because you see what the fuck this motherfucker did with the rest of these bitches. And they dumb ass feel like they bound and trapped and shit. And they becoming sister wives. And they bonding with each other and shit. Because they feel like they can't go nowhere, bitch. I don't know if you ain't about to go nowhere. But I'm about to see my way up out of there. Can't say, I don't listen. You better see your way the fuck up out of there. Because I'm, look, you want to, you want to, <laughs> this what you want, bitch? Is this what you want? So when you, you want to know where the fuck this shit is going, bitch. I'm telling you it's, it's going the same way the fuck it went for these hoes. So unless you want to be like these hoes, and y'all in there rocking back and forth with each other singing, Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya. Yeah, God going to be Kumbaya. He listening. This is stupid. Stupid. I'm a Kumbaya. I'm a Kumbaya. My foot upside your ass. If you don't get your ass the fuck out. In there drinking and, and, and fucking sharing fucking stories with these bitches about. Yeah, bitch, I went through that too. This motherfucker came to my house and he told me. Man, bitch, if you don't get your ass and you better listen to what these hoes are saying. If you don't get your ass out. Fuck. Y'all ain't about to stress me the fuck out today, goddamn. What the fuck is going on over here? <laughs> bitch, no. No. Damn. What's going on with the cancer? Shit. Fucking step for wives. Look, the main man. What? 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 Love language is laughter. Okay, he a funny motherfucker. Yeah, this a funny motherfucker. If you ask me, got you in here locked up with these bitches, making y'all be friends and shit, get to know each other. I want to know these bitches. Fuck you talking about? Fuck. What the hell going on with cancer? Tell me what the fuck is going on. The fuck? Your kisses are mesmerizing. I bet the way they motherfucker kissing your ass in there, I would motherfucker bet. The hell the fuck going on up in here? I love a bad girl. Oh, my Jesus, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. oh hi, caramba. What is going on? Cancer. And I know y'all in there dying and rolling around in the comments and shit. Y'all don't be laughing at me because I'm I am baffled and bewildered at this moment. Bitch. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus, give me, give me. To, uh, trying to move on from you. You motherfucker, right, Cancer is. You right. They just, they just don't see it right now. They just don't understand mentally because they see how, how, but they see how these bitches ain't succeed. So it's like, how these bitches ain't succeed? How the fuck I'm going to get up out of here? Like, y'all in there trading motherfucking secrets and shit like that and stuff. You know, Cass over there consulting a guy like, bitch, I'm getting the fuck up out of here. I don't know what the fuck y'all bitches talking about. Look, look, I'm trying to do And don't be telling these bitches. They will snitch on you. Don't you tell these bitches that you trying to leave, bitch. <sighs> what the fuck type of shit? Making, making fast money. I fucking bitch, I motherfucking see, I ain't gonna say what I think it is, but y'all know, y'all put in the comments what y'all think this is right here. What do y'all think this is right here? Let's listen to me. I'm not gonna say it in this video. What do y'all feel 
is going on, put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. I would love to see what y'all think this is. Because he going to take your money. He going to take all of y'all money. All of y'all money. All of y'all money. And y'all not going nowhere. Girl. Go he ain't one of the good ones. You know what I'm saying? That's good. Make sure that you go to school. To make sure that you got your bank account. To make sure that you go to the doctor. To make sure... about to do it to me today it says pick your face up you were wrong mm, mm, mm. what is this saying sweet on you and then expect a big surprise bitch I motherfucking guess I pick your face up I, look, I, I'm moving on I, I can't I, ooh, no ma'am no ma'am I, I will not I will motherfucking bitch. I, hold on, bitch. Hold on. No, we gonna clean. No, ma'am. No, 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 no. <laughs> Y'all know what was the movie? Get out when the bitch plays like no, 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 no. Bitch, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look, what the fuck did I just see exactly? That's what the fuck I'm asking myself. What the fuck did I just read in these cards, bitch? I am so glad you were trying to move on. Continue to console God. Jesus, listen. Look, Jesus, just, Jesus, be a fence. That she can climb over, okay? Jesus, be a fence that she can climb over. He is going to take your money, bitch. He is going to... Okay, let's keep it moving. Woo! I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. Okay, hold on. Where we going to lay out? Where to be, y'all? Woo! The sisterhood of the traveling pants. Y'all could have just took me out. I, I'm fucking the, tris, the sisterhood of the traveling fucking bitch. I don't, bitch. Bitch. Oh, Leo, give me a second. Leo, give me a second to refresh myself. I need to refresh my spirit. Oh, hold on. Oh. <laughs> Y'all only take what resonates in the name of Jesus. Oh, hold on. Come on, y'all. Jesus, be a fence. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> I, I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying, Leo. Leo, forgive me. <laughs> Woo! this out I'm not, okay come on let's let's keep it together okay come on come on jesus come on hold on all right leo all right leo you are starting right now come on let's see what what's going on with this situation you got the fourth shocker archangel Raphael all right so your heart is your heart is fluttering at this moment I can't even mother. Oh, bitch, you got envy, bitch. Hold on, who mad? Because you, you, your heart open. And you expressing your motherfucking generosity and love how you feeling about people. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> your heart is open and motherfuckers is upset. Look, bitch, you are dusty. You are dusty. Look at your fabrics. Look at your face, bitch. Have you eaten? Have you been up crying? Have you been up denying yourself? What? <coughs> I don't even want to look at you. And be done. I got time for that girl. You need to go see. You need to see a therapist about that. Where's this connection going? 
I gotta see this dusty hoe. Hold on, I gotta see her because we gotta deal with this bitch. What's going on with this? Cause I like. We got the Ace of Wands. Come on. You got the moon in reverse. Chill. Mm. Where's this connection going with the eye? Because I feel like Leo really loves somebody. And, and we got the Hermit in reverse. And under the deck, what you got? You got the Seven of Clubs Chalice. And I'm trying to tell you, they about to get the fuck on. Leo is definitely like looking at other options. Their heart is open right now. It's like, how in the fuck can I stay in a relationship with someone that envies me and that's my fucking enemy? And I got that in another reading. It's like, you're with somebody that, it's like if they could, they would wear you. It's like someone wants to be you, you know? And it's like, I feel like you, you could possibly be with someone that's with you for what you are and who you are and, 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 and what you could be a benefit to them instead of the truth of how they really feel. Like, this is the type of person that would want to entrap you and want to stay inside because they're scared of the outside world. But it's like, that's not in a Leo's personality. A Leo is a very outgoing um and creative person like they are about fame and limelight you know and showing all of their gifts and talents with the world they want to share who they are with the world and whoever this is that you've been dealing with leo is like that makes them uncomfortable that you are so much of a go-getter that you are such a like light-hearted person that people love you that you just have that glow and like a lot of people are attracted to you this makes this person jealous it makes this person envious like if they could create conflict and situations to keep you indoors so you don't go outside and shed your light with people that's what they would do and that's what they're doing okay and that's why i'm glad that the first card that came out here was the ace of wands because this leo has been imagining a brand new start for their life they're not going to allow a jealousy and like that's a personal problem that's something that you got to deal with and i am not about to fixate myself worrying about you and your business of what the fuck is wrong with you i'm moving on they have a whole new different spark of creativity they have been using their manifestations they've been sitting up late dreaming wishing on a star and everything that you, they've been praying for is coming into light they feel magical. They feel creative. They feel blessed. There might be like a new project or um, <clears throat> a new goal that they're bringing into life right now. So this is a brand new star for Leo. And like I'm proud of you. Uh, I, I feel like the worst, the thing that, like, your fears, and whoever this is, like, created a whole bunch of, like, they could have been arguing and fighting with you over illusions, like, shit that wasn't even happening, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, they could have, in their envious state, like, oh, well, you're outside, you're doing this, you're doing this, you're blah, 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 yeah, I'm doing it now, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, whatever illusion whatever drama whatever bullshit that this person try to keep you inside from the outside world that they were feeling they brought it to life now because yeah you 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 are dreaming of leaving you are dreaming of something new you are possibly dating someone new talking to someone new you are aroused at the thought of leaving you know what i'm saying so whatever if if whoever this is that was dealing with the leo like they could have been all about you they just wanted room and freedom to be their self and because you are so unfucking comfortable with someone being an extrovert 
being popular, being the life of the party, because like that made you so fucking uncomfortable. You sat up there and pushed this person away. This person not saying this person is not <clears throat> gonna hold their self back from you. They're not gonna stay in door. I'm gonna sit in I'm gonna sit inside and be a hermit with you because you just wanna sit inside in your house clothes and shit. Are you scared of going outside and you you be having all the drapes and all the window clothes? I like natural light, bitch. You look dusty. Like, did you even, you've been having the same house clothes on for the past two days, bitch. Did you even bathe? You just been walking around and getting up sleeping and walking around getting up sleeping and just walking around in the same fucking shit. Bitch, I don't got time for that shit. That's not, that's not who the fuck the Leo is. So Leo is definitely <clears throat> exploring other options right now. Life is like a box of chocolates. So let there be no confusion about that. Life goes on. Life the fuck goes on. Leo is moving on. And if there was anything bad going on here, whoever this envious person is, like, they created it. Like, you created your own nightmare. Because this person didn't even want to fucking... Like, you created the competition. You... you <laughs> You, that's all you complained about. That's all you was worried about. Bitch, you got it now. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah, am. Yeah. <laughs> My heart is open. I'm not going to stop loving. I'm not going to stop being a generous and outgoing, creative person because of you. No, I'm just going motherfucking focus on my foundations elsewhere. And I'm going to continue to be self-expressive elsewhere. And bitch, you stay inside and rot. <laughs> And you make another motherfucker miserable because you ain't gonna be making me the fuck miserable. I'm gonna tell you, I could guarantee you that. Let's see how the Leo is feeling. How is Leo feeling? It says, Look, trying to move on from you. Look, that flipped right the hell on over now, didn't it? Didn't you, bitch? Didn't you? Look, and then don't go back to them. <laughs> and then Leo just told me, Shit, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Let me just... What's going on with Leo? Leo right now is in a relationship. In a new relationship and is happy. Alright? And it said... Oh, it said let me stick it in. Oh. Let me stick it in. Okay. They're not going back to you. They trying, they trying to move on and making sure that they don't ever go back to that old situation. They're currently dating someone else and they're happy and it looks like it's about to move towards intimacy. Then this says, I'm going to tell everybody why hide our love. Hmm. What the fuck? Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Tell me what's going on with the Leo. Okay. So they said they love every ounce of you. And it says, when you make it effortless, it lasts forever. So... I really do feel like whoever this new person is that Leo is meeting, they make their connection effortless. It's like, it's like there's no struggle. There's no bullshit. There's no whining. There's no complaining. It's like if Leo sees you today and then they might not get back to talking to you until two days later because they might have to travel or they had a lot of work to do or they were writing their next comedy skit or they were getting ready for this, this, and that. It's like the new person understands, understands Leo's lifestyle, is not intimidated by their foundation, being in the entertainment industry or whatever it is that Leo does for profession. It's like whoever is in Leo's life, they have to understand that... <clears throat> This is my life. This is my lifestyle. These people are going to be around. And you're going to have to feel comfortable and secure if you're going to be around me. And whoever this new person is, they make it effortless. Because 
I don't even have to explain this shit that I used to have to explain to this other person. To my new person. You know? They're happy. I don't even feel like there's a big rush to sex. It's, they just enjoy being with each other. They ain't going back. Did I get these cards? Why well, I feel like I didn't get these cards? I feel like I did it. Why do I feel like I cheated y'all out of these cards? We all said that they're cool on this argument. This one right here, they cool on it. They not going back to that. Leo loves a good girl. Leo don't want someone that's constantly in a downward, downward spiral, emotional, because, again, they feel like they're in a relationship with someone they're in a competition with. It's like, how the fuck is my success making you jealous? Like, you mad because I got a booking today, but this booking is making us money. Yeah, there's going to be girls all in my face and shit like that because I'm a fucking celebrity or I'm trying to be a celebrity. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it was just fucking weird. Like, what the fuck? That is fucking unfortunate. So, who we got next? Let's get into Virgo. Soon we'll be making another run. Love boat. Let's see. I want. I want um some other cards. <clears throat> I'm gonna use the um the island love oracle. Whatever this show is called. Yeah, the island time wellness level. Alright, give me guidance on Virgo. Where is this connection going? Give me guidance on Virgo. Where is this connection going for Virgo? Where is this connection going? So we got I like you. <coughs> Coffee cup. Not today. The boat. And the phoenix. So, basically what I'm getting, where this is headed is, I feel like you guys are, and then at the um bottom of the deck, you got the clock. So, I feel like in regards to this connection, I feel like you guys like each other a lot. Um... With this not today, I feel like uh, you guys are trying to avoid any type of like confusion and arguments. Or it could be somebody that someone in this situation is dealing with a whole bunch of like frustration and arguments. And it's like, I, I don't want to hear that. It's like, I just want... It's like somebody's complaints may be pushing them away. You know what I'm saying? Like someone's complaints is pushing someone away. And it's causing a transformation in the complaint. I mean, it, in the complaint. It's causing a transformation in the relationship. And I feel like it's like you're it's like you're running out of time. It's like either um <clears throat> things are gonna change where we're not constantly in battle and arguing with each other. So things can move forward in a progressive way. And we can be more than just friends and because right now it's just like I like you and it's like I like chilling with you. But outside of that, I can't see it developing into something more because, like, from time to time, we have these little stupid disagreements and stuff like that. And it's like, if it's starting out like this, like, why would I want it to progress to move anything forward? It's causing someone to feel like they want to withdraw and maybe not talk to someone as much. So it's like, not today. I feel like someone may be withdrawn and not be giving someone the same amount of time and energy that they were in the past like they just like me as a friend i don't i don't see in 
like that coffee cup like they can see going out with you just chill it on like some real lightweight shit i don't see it because it, the, the, those i don't feel like it's the uh connection connection what is this consolation like yeah i mean you guys are consulting trying to figure out like where this is going like why are we having these disagreements frivolously so <clears throat> the reason why it seems like there's these disagreements and arguments cuz i feel like there's someone that is taking this connection real serious and someone that's not like that's why someone is like i like you like we go out we just friends but all that other shit i'm not i don't want to hear that like why are you asking me why am I going out with other people? Like, we're not together. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, we're just cool. Like, if you could be friends with me and not take things, like, so serious. You know what I'm saying? You got the room at the bottom of the deck. It's like, I'll give you room and space. Like, I'll give you an audience. Like, I'll you could come over to my house. I could come over to your house. And we can chill. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll give you time. But if it's all this extra shit, just I, I'm not dealing with that today. Look, it makes them sick. They don't want to hear that shit. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, either we can function in this space or it's like I'm going to have to move on. You know, because all of this extraness is really transforming the way that I feel about you. And it's like, maybe the... The way that this person feels about this connection has transformed because it's like, I don't really want us to be anything more than just friends. Like, I this is a frivolous person. Like, they'd be a little bit over here, they'd be a little bit over there. So, it's like, I'm not looking for, like, a deep connection right now. So, it's like, I really want to roll with it and we can still hook up and be cool and chill and you can take... My coming and going, or you know, like I don't, I don't wait that shit. So what is this? You got the Empress, and then you got the Emperor. So you got the Empress and the Emperor. So what this is basically telling me is that Virgo is looking for a husband. Virgo is looking for a wife. Virgo is looking for a commitment, 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 commitment. And if that's not where this person, this person is wants a frivolous thing, you know what I'm saying? That's not what you're looking for. So allow that person to go on and move and do whatever. Like what you want is the whole kitten and caboodle. You want something that can grow, something that has longevity, something where someone wants the responsibility of being a wife, of being a husband, of creating a family, of building a unit, of uh, building a legacy. That's what I want. I don't. I don't want that bullshit. So it's like, no. I don't. I don't see that connection. I, I I feel like that person is being as blunt with you as you can be, and the Virgo is being as blunt with that person as they can be. You want this, and I want that. So if I'm nagging you, and if you don't like you you saying not today, you don't want to hear. This shit that I'm saying, bitch, you don't got to hear what the fuck I'm saying because I'm not going to say nothing no different. Believe that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say so if that, if that shit get on your nerves, you already know what the fuck to do. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to, like, why would I ever change who I am and my morals and what I feel that I should receive for the likes of you? Nah. So if I'm getting on your fucking nerve and if you feel like I'm nagging you and I'm aggravating you, nigga, get the fuck. And that's just straight on that. Fuck. We don't even need to have some nigga say less. Look, hope you feel the same way too, nigga. The fuck? Bye. The fuck? Look, 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 look. Virgo said, you thought I was feeling you? <laughs> that nigga a munch. <laughs> Virgo said, 
said you thought I was feeling you? You thought I was feeling you? The fuck? Hope you feel the same way too. The fuck? How's Virgo feeling? I love me a nasty freak. I know that's right. I love me a nasty freak. And look, I might be a little bit bi curious. Okay, bitch. I'm huh. Tell him. Okay. We are reloaded. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Okay, bitch. I like me a nasty freak. All right, how is Virgo feeling? What's going on with the Virgo? Get me. What is Virgo feeling? All right. Virgo said, look, nasty freak, deep throat champion. Ooh, woo, woo. Cause she be slobbing and bobbing while I'm giving it knock. And I've been trying to tell myself to chill, but I find myself just taking the wheel. Come on, nasty. I'm slipping in and out, your girl. Hold on, let me find out. You a throat gobbler. You a bob bobbler. You got that bobbity, bobbity, bob bobbity. You got that bob bobbity? Virgo, you got that bob bobbity. Okay, you that two hand Sam? Hold on, come on, two hand Sam, two hand Samantha, two hand Sam. Come on, two hand Sam. Hold on. They ain't gonna say, please don't give up on me, bitch. That bitch said, my name is two hand Sam. Hold on, I'm almost done, bitch. Okay. One more. Let me see. Is this my soulmate? No. And confession, I stare at you when you sleep. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, I'm just going to keep it moving. I was just gonna keep it moving. So who we on to next? We on to Libra. What it be, bruh? Libra, what it be, bruh? I stare at you when you sleep. Okay. All right, Libra. I'm feeling like you need these cards too. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. All right, Libra. Let's get into this. Let's find out. What's your popping? Alright. What is going on in love with my Libras? Where is this connection going? Ooh. Lord, you just flying shit all over the place. Keys on the ring. Seduction. A heart with a key. Bitch, what... <laughs> You were doing too much. You were doing okay. You just trying to date? What am I? Okay, Libra, you all over the motherfucker place, and then you got photos. Okay, so listen. <laughs> I feel like this is someone that you could have met online, Libra. Well, I feel like Libra could have met someone online, like you were staring at this person's photos and their profiles, all extra hard and shit like that. Then the next thing you know, y'all end up talking to each other. And like, I feel like the Libra is like really fantasizing on like really dating and getting to know this person and then like really amounting to something serious. You know what I'm saying? So like Libra is in fantasy land right now. But at the same time, Libra know what it is because this person is just a key on the ring. Libra definitely has other people that they're talking to. So Libra has other options. But right now, they are really being seduced by this person. This person that they met online really got their heart right now. Like this person is laying it on thick. Really knows how to lay it on thick. But Libra got other 
fish to fry. Libra got other people that they are talking to. And they're enjoying being seduced right now by this new person that they're dating. But they hoping and they're thinking that this person that they manifested. Cause Lee, look, and then the camera is right under that. I'm trying to tell you. Libra, and, then, and then you got the chaser. Look, y'all better say, And then you got the sunglasses. Like Libra. And then you th look, thinking this person, your abundance and shit like that. Look, y'all better stop. Libra, you tell it on yourself. You is telling on your motherfucking self right now. This person got your heart. It, they really got your heart, bitch. You got somebody else that you talking to, too. Like, you're dating right now. But you be watching this person. The photograph, camera, sunglasses, the chase of Libra. If you don't get the fuck on, thinking that this motherfucker is your abundance. Listen, you better go the fuck on. Come on, Libra. <laughs> Libra. <laughs> Libra says, shit, bitch. Hey, you said manifest, bitch. I'm going to manifest. This is my man right here. This is my man. And I'm going to keep dating these other niggas until we lock it the fuck down. But for right now, like, yes. The bottom line, what I want, I want wedding in abundance with this person. Like, I really, really like this person. I really, really like this person. I'm dating this person, and this is who I'm chasing after right now. Mm -mm. And again, if you met this person online, if y'all met this Libra online, this person knows that you have other options, and they're watching. Libra is most definitely keeping tabs on who was in them comments who is leaving them googly eyes how much your phone be ringing when you with them if you be keeping your phone on silent and when you come to their house and you sit your phone down instead of sitting it up like this if you lay your phone down like this all the time they is peeping all of that shit they is peeping all of that shit all of it all of it you got the heart with the key welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect like you guys could be creating a lot of memories with each other if you're with this libra and they allow you to take pictures and y'all go on a lot of outings and a lot of dates and y'all take pictures like the libra loves that shit they really feel like they're being seduced and they're like falling in love with this person that they met online. It just started out with me liking this person's picture. And it just ended up into this whirlwind fucking romance and shit like that. And I, I, it's like this person is being seduced by the Libra. Or the Libra is being seduced by this person. And it's like I'm going to let you. Like I'm going to let you do it. Because it's like I, I'm enjoying all of this. And, and then when I split it. You got the judgment. So, I feel like it's your call on if you want, on, on, on where you really want this to go. I feel like God trusts your judgment. Like, God appreciates your faith and everything that you've been doing with him to kind of build this connection. Like, this is what you've been asking for. So, it's like you receiving. It's like you're being called to act upon your wishes so it's like okay it's like god is answering your prayers so it's like you've been asking for this asking for this asking for this asking for it so okay so what you gonna do when it show up it's here now so let me see what you're gonna do let me see how you are gonna behave you know i like the fact that you're not dropping your other eye oh and you got the devil behind this bitch i don't like that Hold on, let me see what's going on behind him. Bitch, you got the Magician. And then you got the Ace of Swords. And then you got the um, High Priestess in the reverse. So, uh, wait. This is what I'm going to say about this. So, there is like a level of temptation. I feel like you're being tested. You're being tested. I like the fact, before I even seen this, it's like, I like the fact that you're not dropping your other options for one person. I feel like you're still feeling this person out. And you, even though it's like you're uh, opening, you, you're 
running towards that person, you are still open to date other people. You are not putting all of your fucking options in one basket. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're not falling into like some type of illusion and it's like at the same time you're not like um, dedicating yourself just to one thing. And like you kind of know that you're because remember I said it's like okay you said that you wanted this so I'm giving it to you. Let me see how you react. It's like are you going to like kind of fall into the same lustful patterns and you are overindulge and like. become obsessed because I mean not in a bad way but you know like how you end up getting so fixated on a person that you lose yourself you know what I'm saying and it's like no with that magician there it's like I understand the responsibilities that I have with manifestation I understand that there's going to be tests because everything that glitters ain't gold and you understand that with this ace of swords right here so it's like you're not allowing yourself to fall into any illusions you understand your gifts and you understand the responsibility that comes with your practices so if it's a situation where like I said the keys on the ring the keys on the ring says many option decision unconventional string along a one night stand it's like if it is something like that, if that's not what the fuck the Libra is really looking to get attached to, it's like, that's cool. I'm going to continue to use my magic and I'm going to manifest something else because I know my truth and I know what I want. It's like, I'm, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I, if anything, I'm going to use it for what it is. I'm going to use it for a one night stand and I'm going to keep it the fuck moving. <laughs> you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, uh, you, you get me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. They understand, the Libra understands that the person that they're dealing with now is not faithful at this moment. But they are paying attention, they're watching. I feel like they're still allowing themselves to be seduced. Because they, they like creating this memory. They like this person. Like this person has a heart, but they're not. Libra is not stupid. They want the outcome of this situation to end up in abundance and commitment but at the same time I'm not jaded to the fact that I just really think that this person is just going to drop everything for me it's like I, I'm going to see that's basically where this is I'm going to see I'm going to keep enjoying this shit but right now I really don't know because right now it's just some good ass sex you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like, I'm in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, we doing a whole bunch right now. But I know my goals. I know what I'm trying to do. And if this is not it, then not, it's just a good time. I'm around for a fun time, not a long time. Like, I, I'm good on that. I know what I'm doing. It's like I, it's like I know what I'm doing. And it, it's like I know how to let go. If I need to with this eight of cups, I know how to leave that right there and continue to chase after what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like Libra is the chaser right now. And it's like the chase is not you. I'm chasing my happiness, my 10 of cups. So if it's not what I want fully, I would, I would drink every last bit. I will drain you, bitch. I will drink all of your shit and dip. So if you want to get used up, go ahead. Because you, look, bitch, I play chess, not checkers. I don't know. So, so, like, if you fucking around with a Libra thinking, oh, yeah, I got option, this and that. Yeah, you might fuck around and get played. <laughs> you might fuck around and get played. Because the Libra is on the same fucking time that you on, And they watching you. So that's, that's why, like, Libra is, like, that easy to just, like, be able to release. Because they not stupid. And they know, and at the same time, it's like, I feel like the Libra knew who they were getting involved with from the door. You know what I'm saying? Because they were liking your pictures. So it's like they peeped you. You know what I'm saying? And you were a temptation. So, why I kind of want to say, like, whoever this was could have been someone on Libra's fucking hit list. Like, your check, they check, ooh. 
child. It says, I wonder how you really feel about me. Let's get one more since I've been doing two. It says, your kisses are mesmerizing. Okay. So this person is like thrown off. Because it's just like, well, how the fuck do, do Libra feel about me? Like, I really like our connection and shit like that. But it's like, the Libra is, I don't know. Why well, I want to say Libra play pimping. <laughs> Libra, Libra play pimping. <laughs> ah, look, in relationship and happy. Okay. Hell no, I'm not no hoe. Ooh. Ooh, what is going on? Ooh. Is that what the person is doing? Ooh. I feel like the person feel like, damn, how quiet introvert. I feel like the person is like, damn, like, how Libra... Just going to run off like that. It's like they, they, who some might feel like they're they're an option. Like it, it wasn't weekend Netflix and chill with my boo. Hell no, I'm not no hoe. Yeah, ho. Uh, yeah, ho. <laughs> it says you be into some questionable activities. Ooh. Like, I'm, I'm not taking it. Hold on. What does it say? Can I come see you again? So, it's like, um, this person is wondering. I feel like this person is confused about Libra's behavior. Because now I'm feeling like it's the, this person wondering, where things is going with the Libra because it's like they feel like Libra be into some questionable activities because they know that they're not the only person that Libra is dating like they're just an option on a key they are being seduced and the Libra is being seduced by this person and they're enjoying that stuff they take pictures they go out they do all of this stuff but it's just like why do I feel like I'm chasing the you know what i'm saying it's like we 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 netflix to chill we do the home thing and everything and i feel like i'm in a relationship and i'm happy with the libra but at the same time the libra being to some questionable activity and i'll be asking the libra like what the fuck be going on like am i just an option or like what's going on and they're like hell no i ain't know how i don't be doing it but it's like uh-uh like so it's like whoever this is that's dealing with the Libra, I feel like if you want to be able to Netflix and chill and, 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 and chill with the Libra, just enjoy your time with the Libra. Like, I feel like whoever this is, I feel like they be getting into their head too much about where things are going. I feel like the best option for you is to just... If you're going to be the chaser, go ahead. But just kind of chill. Don't be nagging. Don't don't disrupt the environment. I'm kind of getting like the Libra don't want nothing too serious. They just want to relax and enjoy their time with you. So I would kind of just do that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to leave that at that. Let's like go to Scorpio. Okay. All right. Let's go to Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, how we doing, Scorpio? So how um, where is this connection headed with the Scorpio? If you are a Scorpio in a relationship, or if you are in a relationship with a Scorpio, where is the relationship headed with the Scorpio? Well, we got we got the wedding card. Where is this relationship headed with the Scorpio? You got the doctor. You got the friend card. Alright. One more card. 
Walmart. What is this? You got the scholar card. And then what is this? The soldier card. And under the deck, you got the priest. Okay, so. Okay. So you got the wedding, the doctor, and then the friend. What the fuck was that? You got the wedding, the doctor, and a friend. With the scholar, the soldier, and the priest. I feel like this person may be studying you. This person like wants to honor and protect you and wants to have a traditional relationship with you. You see that there's the priest there. So like this person really needs somebody that wants the same thing as they do you know so they're not just going to go and jump into a situation with the scorpio and the scorpio is not going to just jump into a situation with you like they're studying you they're really like trying to figure out if you could be a good fit in this connection and now that they know that you are it's like they protect that shit they really want to protect you they want to look after you like it's something about y'all have like a geeky element to your relationship where you guys like to learn and talk about spiritual things a lot in this connection. And it's like this is something like deep that they never had before and they want to protect that. They really like that the deepness that y'all have there, you know. Um, I want to say that y'all could have started off as friends. Y'all could have started off as friends and y'all are very good friends. And, and I want to say that um, with that doctor, it could be like on an emotional level, like a therapist doctor or something like that. Or it's like someone is in need of like help in some type of way. Like they might be hurt or sick or something so it's like this person the connection that y'all have is i want to say like more of a friendship that's going to turn into a committed love marriage and relationship because of how someone takes care of the other person it's like you are the emotional professional in their life you are the physical professional, like you are the friend, you are the lover, it's like you are everything. So it's like you bring a certain level of nurturing love to this person. And it could have been something that you helped them heal. Or maybe you brought to attention to them, like maybe you need to go to the doctor and fix that. And it's like... Whoever this person is, it's like they really need a friend. It's like not only someone that's a friend, they need someone that is smart. You know what I'm saying? They need someone that is like before anything, it's my friend first. And they look out for me and they teach me what it is that I know. And they protect me. And they value me. You know, so like this is something that will most definitely end up in marriage so the scorpio has a very very strong connection going on right now in their life so let's get into let's find out what's just going on with the scorpio where is this connection headed okay you got the empress you got the Empress. Uh, it came out in the reverse. I'm like, do I feel like reading reversals? Let me see what the other cards say. I definitely feel like this person feels like you're beautiful. But um, I feel like with the Empress being... This is a lot of fucking cards. This is a lot of fucking cards. Um, No, I am going to have to read these in the reverse because it makes sense that way. Let's start. 
Okay, so um, with the Empress in the reverse, I feel like maybe this person could have met you at a point where it's like you were recreating yourself. I want to say like you were introducing yourself to the world. Like you have been kind of like hiding out a little bit. And you are, I want to say adjusting, readjusting yourself. Like rebranding yourself almost. Because I want to say, especially with this Six of Cups in the reverse, it's like you could be like removing any type of old-fashioned beliefs, any type of old-fashioned characteristics, any type of old news, any memories from the past. I want to say, like, you could be removing it. You could be, like, uh, changing the scenery. You could be um, moving far away from home or something like that. So it's, like, uh, a lot of things that people used to think or know about you or understand about you like they might have to like really get to know you all over again because it's like you're not the same person you're not the same person so and again it's like with this doctor is like fixing something but I don't think that this is like a, a, a physical illness I feel like this is like a more of like an emotional pickup like a life coach or someone that is like um, yeah, I want to say like, I want to say like therapy. It's like talking to this person. It's like you're developing a friendship. You, you, you're learning so much about yourself and it's like, it's helping you to rebrand and, 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 and bring a higher level of education to yourself. So it's like. You may be a little bit different. You got this Knight of Wands here. This person, I want to say, has come into your life for a purpose and a reason to, like, help you, like, spark your passions again. And I want to say to take you further because it's something about this spread here. It's like... It's like you, this person may be scared to leave home or, or scared to leave or scared to try something new or to remove their self. Because remember, it's like, okay, I see a different side of you. I see a lot of potential in you. It's something about this empress that may be outdate, outdated and something needed to change to bring that vitality back into her. You know what I'm saying? So, or it could just be like her not finding the right partner that complimented her. You know what I'm saying? To get her to move. Like this man came in and just said, listen, I want you to come with me. Maybe it's not best for you to live here in this area no more. Like you don't belong in this old neighborhood and this old surrounding or whatever the fuck it is. And I don't care if you like it or not. Like you're going to throw all that old shit away and we're going to go to a new place and start something new. You know what I'm saying? It's like. It's something about. This person is rejecting this this empress because it's like she couldn't create. She could not be herself. She could not live the life that she wanted to live. It was like something wasn't right. It wasn't healthy. And again, remember we were saying with the doctors, like sickness. It's like something... It's like maybe this person came into your life to point out like what was wrong. This is why you haven't been getting the job offers because maybe you need to change this and you need to do this and you need to do that. And again, it's like someone coming to you as a friend and just talking to you and educating you and helping you to find out a way to rebrand and to remarket yourself like this person is protecting you because you're a star. You're a star. It's like they feel like you're a gift to them. You might be what 
they have been praying and asking God for. But it's like, I want to say it's like whoever this, this, this gym is, it's like you don't see it in yourself or something like that. This wedding, this connection, this relationship, the purpose of it was like, I want to say for you guys to... For this man to come into your life and to pull you out of your an environment or, 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 or a place where you would not succeed and find greatness. This person came into your life to love you, to teach you, to heal you, to show you that you are a star. Don't stay in a place where... People make you feel low and constantly reject you and, and you know, like, no, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to make you move. Leave all of that shit behind. Don't take none of that shit. I know you don't want to leave it alone. Uh, uh, alone. I know you don't want to move. I know you, but you have to. Other, other, You're going to stay in this place. So, yeah. And I'm just about to leave it right there with the with the Scorpio thing, cause like I feel like that's what you needed to hear. So where's this connection going? Is going towards marriage, and this person is going to move you out of a place of where you felt comfortable with just receiving on the low end. Like this person is about to turn you into a star. Like you deserve more than five fucking pinnacles. You deserve more than you deserve. More than to struggle. You know what I'm saying? You were too big. You're the empress. You know what I'm saying? So this person came into your life to show you how to be that empress. And they're going to protect you. They're going to aid you. They're going to provide for you. They're going to help you the whole fucking way. So like this person ain't going nowhere. This connection ain't going nowhere. So the love language from this person is food. <laughs> That's their love language. Alright. One more. Says I'm single until you say I'm not single. Okay. I'm single until you say I'm not single. Well, you know this person. You've seen the priest. You've seen the marriage card. So this person might come through and say to you ain't fucking single, bitch. I'm about to put this work in you and we 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 got shit to do. Like I ain't got time for that. Tell me what's going on with Scorpio. Where is this relationship headed? It says... I'm cool on this argument and put it aside and choose joy. So there might be some disagreement or something. I want, cause you know what? Scorpios are such fixed signs. And I want to say like this person may be coming into Scorpio's life. Like, listen, you need to change this. You need to. But with fixed signs, we don't, even if it's something that we know that we can live a better life if we just go over here. But it takes so much for us to change, even when we want better sometimes. Sometimes we can get in our own way. But I just see travel. So this person is coming into your life to make you move from your home because your hometown or wherever it is that you would just... Not able to be the star. It says, I love you. Yes, there I said it. And then this says, I wish I could kiss you. So I want to say that this person may be somewhere far from you. Like y'all don't live in the same area or something like that. But again, I kept seeing travel. It's like, you're going to end up moving for this love. It says, hi new lover so this is a new lover and it says it's sweet on you so scorpio whoever this new person is that you've met like they're very sweet on you they're going to force you into your betterment they're going to force you to move they're going to force you to change certain aspects it's a lot of outdated outdated old-fashioned old model shit about yourself that you should have been changed but it's going to be for the better this person is going to end up being your husband or your wife and you guys are going to be very successful together that's what i see so let's get into sagittarius why you got so delirious baby 
let's get into it so let's see Sagittarius what's going on where is this connection headed for my Sagittarius you got divination prophecy fate destiny future fortune all right so this was a destined fated relationship okay let's go on let's see what we got here but we got we got the sacrifice there are those worth making there are those that will destroy you Ooh. sacrifice there are those worth making and there are those that will destroy you so there's a sacrifice that needs to be made here but this is like a faded connection and it's going to teach you to release something so let's see what we got where is this connection headed the four swords so there's been a separation there's been a separation in this situation so like it, it may have been faded that this connection was like halted you got the strength in the reverse like it, it might have been you got the judgment and then you got the Page of Wands and the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So, what needed to be sacrificed here was this connection. So, I definitely see an ending here. Um, I want to say that you guys are definitely not speaking to each other with the uh, Four Swords in the reverse. Like, you might be coming out of a phase where you were like secluding yourself from the world and you weren't speaking you were just like really taking some time to yourself a time out to really figure out what your next move is because you just came out of the three of swords you just came out of the three of swords and you understand that every single thing that happened in that relationship happened for a reason and with this page of wands like you were so fucking happy to have came out of this situation like it's like you were almost celebrating it's like i'm here bitch you know what i'm saying so it's like i uh, like i definitely see that you were finally coming outside you were finally coming outside and you are i want to say like glad to get out of the darkness and finally if like release some burden off of you so it's like you see how bright this is outside so it's like you are happy for the springtime and you understand now exactly why every single thing happened like it it might have taken you so long to finally walk away and release yourself from the situation and that's why i'm saying you definitely with this four swords you had to take some time to heal so you might not have been speaking to anybody for for for, for some time like and people might not have understood what was going on with you because you were having to deal with heartbreak, with separation, with someone that I feel like you thought that you was, that was going to stand the test of time. But things happen for a reason. Listen, judgment. You are so proud of yourself. You are so proud of yourself. And the more and more that you feel yourself healing and the blessings of life revealing, like, you are being blessed tenfold ever since that you separated yourself and you allowed yourself to just take your time and you took your time now that you are coming out you see why god did this for you it did take an insane amount of strength even just to go in a place of silence and not speak and it's like you didn't understand it when it was happening to you, but it's like you understand it now. Like you get the big picture. So a lot of things right now um, are not being revealed to you. And there's a lot of things that you still don't understand, but it's like you're not questioning God. You're not questioning your decisions. You're not questioning anything right now i feel like you're like more so going with the flow and again i feel like you're still being mute i feel like you're not being as open um 
and honest with people where they ask you like where you go was this and that like I don't feel like talking to people I don't feel like I have to explain myself to anybody right now I just came out of seclusion and just know I'm good with my life right now and I'm loving it so it's like don't don't feel like you need to explain what's going on in your mind to anybody or where you were or why you don't have to explain any of this shit just you know that you're blessed and you're happy and you you are in a brand new beginning of life and like honestly you're getting a lot of like positive feedback it's a lot of positive feedback coming to you like people are definitely saying that you look good you feel good like so it's like I, I don't I don't want to talk I don't want to talk about old shit there was a third party situation that was going on and it's like I, I don't I don't want to talk about it you know what I'm saying listen they would never know I'm a rebel so it's like I'm not speaking on this dilemma I, I don't I don't want to speak on it you know what I'm saying at all so it's like you've been keeping your poker face on and again only thing y'all need to know is I'm out here to ever be out here and celebrate like don't don't do not let people bring up old situations. If they say shit that you don't like or trying to walk the fuck away and enjoy your happiness. Like, you don't have to explain or talk to anybody about shit. About fucking shit. Play the lottery, feeling lucky. Why is everybody getting this? And you got a new job coming to you, Sagittarius. So that's what's up. Let's see. Let's see. We got about to kill this pussy. Okay, somebody about to tear it up. Okay, and he's got yes, I choose you. So you done? Okay, you done met somebody. Third party trauma. What is this? Confession. Falling in love is something I said I would never do. All new everything. All new every goddamn thing. All new everything. You don't want nothing from the past. You don't want nobody to ask you nothing about the past. You got a new job. You got a brand new way of life. You got a brand new sense of freedom. You don't want to talk about no old shit. You don't want to hear about no third party situation. Only thing you want to talk about is this person that is choosing you now. Talking about they trying to kill that pussy. That's the only motherfucking thing you trying to be talking about right now. So shout out to all my Sagittarius it's like y'all out here y'all celebrating yourself y'all in the moment and thank you for being strong enough and no matter how long it took you like you were willing to make that sacrifice for your happiness so shout out to you so let's go to my Capricorns See what's going on. Where's this connection headed? My Capricorns. Okay, you got appreciation. Okay, you got appreciation. And we is definitely not taking that card that was under there. And then you got the angel of balance. Okay? So I feel like whoever this is in your life appreciates you and you bring a lot of great harmony and balance to them. So that is wonderful. And then you got strategy. So I feel like you guys like this person likes the way that y'all talk things out. Like instead of you guys um, like things getting out of way and just being unnecessary confusion. I feel like there's a lot of maturity here between the two of you guys. There's a lot of open, transparent communication. You guys don't question how each other feels. You guys um balance each other in a very good way certain things that you were good at um or the, the other person isn't good at you're good at and things so you guys compliment each other and every day it's like they see the appreciation you got the king of swords okay i like that you got the prince of wands you got the king of uh, the ten of swords hmm Where's this connection going? Oh, 
Oh, the four swords. Okay, hold on. Okay, so there, there, there's been a break. Okay, so this king of swords has decided to, like, um, call things off and to separate. I want to say because they are more of, like, a loner and does not want to. It's like they want to deal with the situation with integrity. You know? So, and because... With this ten of swords here, it's like they they they've hurt people before, and it's like I, I don't want to do that, and I, I want to be able to with this prince of wands, I want to be able to still come and go, and to like develop a relationship with this person. So it's just like better for me to just be honest, forthright, and upfront with how the situation is going to go. Um, I appreciate like the community that I'm building here. I don't know why I felt like I wanted to say community. I feel like this person just doesn't want to hurt anybody anymore. So it's like Hmm. Let me get more guidance here. Explain this appreciation and angel of balance. What is this? The room. I just heard it's like, it's like I want to still give you room to be able to speak to me even after it's over. It's like this person wants to be able to still come and go. Because it's like they appreciate the energy in the respect that y'all have, you know, amongst each other. And it's like, they don't want to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, let's just chill. Okay, wife and pleasure seeker. Woo! Woo, and then you got despair. Okay, I'm getting it right now. I'm, I understand. Ooh, I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. So it's like, this person really does appreciate everything that you're bringing into their life. But this man is not trying to hurt you. And I said that before. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like this is something that's overkill. And it's like they may be separating and putting things on hold. It's like they're not completely dead in this situation. But it's like they're trying to pay respect to you by honoring you. By not like torturing you. With the fact that it's like, I got a wife, I'm still a pleasure seeker, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm a cheating man. I feel like this person is blunt and honest about, you know, who and what they are. I know that this situation will really hurt you in the long run, so I might only come... And give you room and give you space. Um, like every couple of months we chill with each other every now and then. Because you know I have a life. And you, know I, I, and you know I talk to other people. And I don't want you to hurt yourself. Or, 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 or I, I don't want us to hurt each other. Because I've seen this situation go bad before. And you ain't. No. Mm -mm. It's like I appreciate you enough to not let this situation go in a place that it don't need to be. So it's like he's being honorable and respectful in cutting this shit out at the four swords before it even gets to the ten of swords. Because they really, like I said, appreciate you and trying to make a balanced decision and don't want to hurt you. So because ain't nobody got time for that shit and this person got a wife and this this motherfucker's wife know that this motherfucker be out here fucking with other people and he ain't gonna change but she ain't out here she ain't out here like this you know what i'm saying so if she ain't out here like this about the shit that he be doing out here with his friends like he's not gonna allow you to you know what i'm saying do that to yourself so that's why he's cutting this shit back at the four swords and it's because it's like I don't 
Let me just shut the fuck up, because, I don't know, God bless people. Alright, let's see. Tell me what's going on with this Capricorn. What's my life? I feel like I... Anyway. Since I'm not giving up on you. See, that's what I'm talking about. Can't nobody stop this. See? Like, that's why this person was just like... Let me put this shit at a rest because I got my family and... I'm still trying to hold on. It says, your next... Wait, your morning text make me smile. Work, get more rest to reach success. It says, uh, I can't believe I caught feelings. And then someone says, let's slow down. See, it's like, it's like the Capricorn. And again, we're on Capricorn because I don't know why I felt like I said Aquarius, but we're on Capricorn. The Capricorn is saying, or whoever is dealing with this Capricorn is feeling like they don't want to give up on you. Can't nothing stop this. But the Capricorn is saying like. I can't believe I caught feelings for you, but we, we really need to slow down. Like, I have a connection. And if it's not a wife, this person has a family. And it's still a pleasure seeker. And this person does not think that you can handle this. And if they don't cut it off at the four swords, you will continue to hold on and try to stress yourself out about who they are, what they're doing, when the person that they live with is not even doing that. And they're not about to, they, no, no. What is this? Sweet victory. And you're pregnant. It's a boy. Oh my God. Uh, I hope this person is not trying to fucking keep a, ooh, bitch, I'm about to leave that way it's at. Oh my God. They said sweet victory too. Oh my God, Capricorn! Oh my God! Oh, try to keep a nigga, baby, didn't you, bitch? Ooh, whoo! Chill. I cannot with that one. I the fuck cannot. Let's get to Aquarius. Aquarius, why you be keeping these hoes motherfucking delirious? Let's find out what's going on with the Aquarius. I want to I use these cards. What's going on with Aquarius? All tied up. Ooh. And then what is this? A door to spirit. So... Was that indecisions so all tied up the door to spirit so it's like where's this connection going someone feels like they're wrapped up in a situation but it's like God is giving them the choice and the access to make an exit but it's like they have to decide what they really want to do it's like you're all tied up. You've been praying to release yourself and to have other options and opportunities. And I'm giving it to you. So where are you going to go? What are you about to do? So where this connection is going, it looks like someone is at a stalemate and they want to release their self and have other options. So let's see what's going on with this Aquarius. Tell me what's going on with Aquarius. You got the Eight of Pentacles. And then you got the chariot right here. So, and what is this? This is the hangman. Give me one more. The hangman with the ace of with the ace of pentacles. 
Okay, so yeah. All right, so where this connection is going with the Aquarius, the connection is basically over from what I'm seeing. It's like the Aquarius wants out of being tied up and bound to a situation that they feel like it's not going anywhere. They want an open door. They want to be able to move freely. They want to be released. Um, and it's like at the same time, it's like they appreciate they appreciate being granted this opportunity to like escape a situation where they weren't happy. It's like they're at a crossroads in their life. You know, it's like I, I, I can't be forced to stay in he here anymore. I have to decide where my life path is headed for me, you know. So you got the hangman with the ace of pentacles here. So you being gifted like this Aquarius is being gifted with a new opportunity. Um, this could be a new job. This could be a situation where it's like you were, I want to say like on time out. So like you could have went like a while. I want to say with like um, no options. No options. So it was like you were stuck. Like it is saying like tied up. Like you were stuck. Like shit. And it's like now you you like you're receiving this gift, something that's going to bring stability and happiness, something that's going to like grow over time. So. If you were never so trapped up and bound the way that you were, you wouldn't appreciate this new opportunity that's being given to you. Um, and again, it's like you could be given like a new car, a new house. A new job probably all fucking three of these things it's like you're being released out of something that kept you bound and unhappy to every fucking blessing on the face of this earth it's like you just gotta decide if you're gonna go right or go left you right right now it's time for the Aquarius to use their intuition you got the chariot and the eight of Pentacles so emotionally you feel stable. You have a good balance of your dark and light. You know not to feed that ego in a negative way. You know to let that ego protect you where you're at and where you're headed. You're only focused on yourself. I feel like the Aquarius right now is a single person. They're focused on their business. And they're just focused on their new environment and where they're going. In their new car. Like again this is a new car. Like Aquarius definitely just got a new fucking vehicle. Because you're moving. You're traveling. You're moving. And you can afford to spend money on yourself. And your look. Okay. So right now you're focused on your appearance. And you're focused on your uprising. And that's it. I don't see Aquarius worrying about anything about love. Whoever, whatever connection that they had, that shit is done. That shit is boop, done. All right, so let's get into Pisces. Pisces, treat me nice, please. What's going on with you? Tell me what's going on. Where is this connection headed for my Pisces? What's going on with Pisces, please? What's going on with Pisces? Where is Pisces connection headed? Please tell me. You got the soldier. You got protection. You got the merchant selling a house and sigh. So it's like selling something. It's like selling something off. He's sighing. Like what the fuck is going on here? I want to say it's like someone's defensive about an older woman. There's an older woman and there's a younger woman. There's an older woman and there's a younger woman. And with the soldier, I just feel like someone's defensive. It's like defending... I want to say like someone's defending their home. 
I want to say like y'all could have just purchased a home. You could have just. Okay, so I don't know if I sold y'all the cards. You got the soldier, an older woman, and a younger woman. I just heard something about the, the placements. Defending the placement. Got the merchant. It's like, he's like, I would just bought or sold a property or something like that. And you got this woman over here just sighing at it all. Just like, what the fuck? What's going on? Pisces, don't do this. You did this to me in the last fucking minute. You ain't about to stress me out, Pisces. You was not about to do me today. You be really trying to make me work. Alright. And this thing ain't trying to shuffle. It's like something ain't coming together. The way somebody wants something to. Where is this connection headed? I don't understand. Oh, you got the runner. And what just dropped down here? You got the runner. Love. Passion. You got the runner. Passion, love, what else is going on in love? Tell me what else is going on. Where's this connection headed with Pisces? What's going on in this home with the merchant? The merchant is like a seller. It's like a tradesman, like a seller. Like they sell like retail financing and Like a home buyer or, or it's like are you waiting for someone to all right that's enough let me figure out what the hell is going on you got the boat moving talking in the mirror well i'm feeling like you're having to do this shit all over again it's like you could have just bought purchase and then end up having to sell a house and it's like you're having to move again and it's like like you're having to do the, you're having to do something over again why well, i feel like someone's like constantly moving constantly having to relocate or something like that or it's like someone don't hold on to something too long it's like they flip it. It's like trying to flip houses or flip something. Purchase, buying and selling something. I want to say like someone's home environment isn't stable because it's like something is happening again. You know what I'm saying? It's like you try to flip the situation on me or something like that. Like I just bought into this. It's like someone feels like they could have bought into a facade like you talked me into moving here and then I moved here and got comfortable and sigh. It's like the same shit that happened in the other location is happening here. Um, someone could be trying to defend their relationship between two people. That's kind of what I'm getting here. I don't know why I'm... I'm and it's like someone could be mad. It's like, why the fuck did you just... You see the merchant in the boat. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I just purchased a car or I just purchased, I put my money into his moving. You see what I'm saying? It's like, you talked me into this house, right? You talked me into taking my money, relocating our stuff, and investing in this. Only for the same fucking shit. You, you, you had me move here for you to do the same fucking shit that you did when we lived over there. Like you got to be fucking kidding me. You know what I'm saying? And you're you're trying to defend you being with me and being with this other woman. There's an older woman. And then there's a younger woman. I don't know who the Pisces is. If they're the older woman or the younger woman. But it's like this person is running in between their passions. 
in between these two women because this person loves the, both of these women. And there's passion and love in between both of these women. And it's like, I, I don't know if this person moved y'all to separate. I, look, bitch, bitch, bitch. I don't motherfucking know. Like, what's going on with this situation with Pisces? What's this? This is the page of cups. So this person may be younger, immature. Like this person, I feel like just wants to express itself. Like this person, I want to say easily falls in love or something like that. Or easily fell in love with somebody. It could be somebody new that they're talking to. It's, it, it's something fresh. And then you got the Knight of Swords. So it's something new, but it's like some shit is happening fast. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of action going on here. And then you got the King of Wands. You got the Three of Cups too. In the reverse. So I don't think that these people interact with each other, party with each other, or know each other like they're not friends. They do, they're not acquaintances. So I feel like this person, this soldier, is protecting, keeping these two people away from each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, it's like, it's no need for everybody to be in the same room. It's going. It's, it's not going to be a good situation. That's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, the Nine of Wands. They're protect. And then you. And then you got the fucking Devil in reverse. The Nine of Wands. So it's like they are putting like a safe barrier in between these two lovers, because they don't want the same thing to happen before to happen again because it's like a some somehow like they did something in the past and they ended up losing everything like they could have lost three cups and now they're only left standing with him and this one other cup but with this devil in the reverse they can't like release some type of negative pattern or something it's like hard for them to stop doing whatever this is like they pull people into it's like they i don't what is this right here and then you got the fool in the reverse so it's like i want to say that the the pisces didn't have much faith that this person would change anyway so it's like more of the same bullshit, but like in a different area code. You know what I'm saying? And this person. Is, is moving back and forth, expressing his love. Like, because with the. The page of swords, they travel. It's like they're moving. It's like they're quickly going. And I, I'm feeling like stealth. Like this person is very good. And very honest and direct in communication. I feel like this person can be very blunt sometimes. This person can say things that you might not like to hear. But they're going to tell you what the truth. Like, I feel like the truth is going to come out. I feel like if you was to ask this person what's going on, like they would tell you the fucking blunt truth. Let me see. The seven of swords. Yeah, this person is sneaky. This person is like a traitor, a backstabber, like whoever this is that you're dealing with, Pisces, like where this situation is headed, like this person is headed to whoever's fucking house <laughs> because they're sneaking away from you and taking from you and carrying it to this person and vice versa. So, you know, like, yeah, they feel like they can carry this, that like, they have they're good like they this is traditional for them like they're used to doing this so they're used to carrying this burden they're used to sneaking around and doing these things so and to some aspect it's like people allow this person to do it you know what i'm saying it's mm, immature immature it's like this person is 
I want to say like in love with love. This person loves to. I don't know. And you got the hermit. So it's like. Where is this connection headed? I feel like Pisces. You need to go deep inside. And figure out. Because I feel. It's been revealed to you what's going on. I mean you very much so are aware of. What this is and what's going on. It's the same shit. It, it don't matter if you moved. It, they're talking to the same motherfucker. Like, is the same, but just a new house? That's why you sign. Like, I, I that. And it's like, I feel like it was your money that was spent. Bitch, I ain't got it to do. I'm done. Anyway, I hope that this resonated. Y'all let me know. Y'all make sure that y'all hit that like button. If y'all like these videos and if y'all want me to do more of these videos, make sure that y'all put that down in the comment section so I can see the love. I can feel the love. I can receive the love. Oh, let me give you yours, Pisces. I'm sorry. I almost didn't give you your bonus cards. So let's see. Pisces, treat me nice, please. What are your bonus cards? What is the outcome? Where is this headed? Where is this relationship headed with Pisces? Okay. You got, I feel like you're hiding something. All right. Hiding secrets. Child. And then it says warning. They do drugs. A public figure okay where is this going showing you their true colors showing you their true colors this person is showing you who they are their love language is money this person is, is I got married and blessed so this person definitely has somebody at home. And what was that under the deck? It was like love at first sight or something. I think that's what that was. Okay. So. Okay. They love every ounce of you. And it says. Let me suck them cherries. So they love, they love that every ounce of uh, you and they love someone's titties. And it says, be my rider. So. Okay, it says, I wonder how you really feel. And I love a good girl. And let me get one more. Can't nobody stop this. And then I'm not giving up on you. So it seems to me like even though this person is hiding secrets and everything, it's like this Pisces. I feel like with everything that's going on, it's making this Pisces question how the person that they live with really feel about them. Like if you got this other situation going on. You feel like they're hiding secrets and they are hiding secrets and they definitely do drugs. You know what I'm saying? They're definitely doing drugs. Um, they love big titties and, and, and they love every ounce of you or whoever this other person is or whatever. Um, and they love someone's titties. Their love language is money and they're showing their true colors to you. And I don't know... Who needs to receive? Whoever the person is that is in the house, the man is married and blessed. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they just bought a new house or, you know what I'm saying? They they just, so it's things in the home front. It ain't nothing wrong. I just feel like this person just ain't shit. He want both of you. Like he's going to defend his, he going to. He's going to protect his stance. And that's just bottom line. Just just bottom line. <laughs> but anyway, I love y'all. Think about it. Peace. Hit that like button.